Getting a new car is something that has been on my mind for a little over a year now. But the time has finally come and this is the story. So when you're deciding on getting a new car, you usually consider your priorities, your lifestyle, and of course your budget. My priorities are that I want a car with great mileage and is eco-friendly. I also want a car that fits my beach and surf-centered lifestyle as well as looks good commuting around the city. So adventurous but still classy. The car that fit all of this criteria was a Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. So that's the car I had in mind when going into the dealership. I'm here with my mom at the Toyota dealership nearby our house checking out the XLE RAV4 hybrid right now and gonna take it for a little test drive to go from a 2001 to a 2021 is just ridiculous originally I had my heart set on the XSE hybrid in white exterior but after driving the XLE hybrid in this lunar rock color, which is like this really soft gray, green, earthy kind of tone, I actually love this a lot. And it's more in my price range and it has 40 MPG, which is super important. My car before had like 17 MPG and there's a touch screen. The speakers are really high quality and everything just feels so great in this car modern sleek so i do think this would be a good car for my current lifestyle so i'm gonna go inside and talk financing so i figured out a financing plan signed the contract and then put a deposit down all right you guys the day has come to go pick up my brand new car i am getting so much more excited it's finally starting to hit me that I won't be driving my crappy 2001 Acura anymore. So now I need to go to the bank to get a cashier's check to pay off the rest of my down payment. And this morning I already called my insurance company to update my policy. So it's time to go make some moves to go get my brand new car. Let's go. I just got the keys. Here we are, my new car. Hey guys, this is my new car. I just drove about two hours inland of San Diego. We're in the desert right now, and it's so quiet and peaceful out here. A little bit windy, but I wanted to show you some of my favorite features of my 2021 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid XLE. The first thing I want to mention is the exterior color. It's called Lunar Rock, and originally I wanted a white exterior, but after seeing this grayish green color, I fell in love with it. The salesperson calls it the Baby Yoda color, so I nicknamed this car Baby Toyota, which is pretty silly, but I love it. So this car has a smart key system, which is really convenient because you can just have it in your pocket or in your purse. And as long as the key is within a close vicinity of my car, if it's locked, all I have to do is open the door and it unlocks itself. So it's really handy if you're carrying around a lot of stuff, you can just keep this in your bag and easily get in and out of the car. So same thing with locking it. All you have to do is touch this little ridge and it'll lock. So it's pretty sweet, I'll show you. So if I just want to walk up and unlock this car, literally just open the door, it's that simple. All right, come inside, let me show you the interior. So this car has a push to start. So all I have to do is put my foot on the brake and touch the power button and my car will just power on. And what I absolutely love about this car that my previous car did not have is a touch screen as well as Apple CarPlay. So I just plug in my iPhone and it will connect to this eight inch multimedia touch screen. I can access Spotify, I can call people, I can message them via voice commands, and I can use maps just as if I was accessing my phone. And the audio in this car is amazing. I heard about a world that's 
So I definitely love to blast my music when I'm driving around. Some really cool safety features that this car has is steering wheel assist, which I like to turn on, especially on the freeway. So all I really have to do is keep my hands on the wheel and it will keep me in the lane. And there's also a setting to make this car stop automatically if it gets too close to the car in front of it. There's also a lot of different driving modes. There's trail mode, which we just use right now. Obviously we're in the desert. We did a little bit of off-roading. There's also eco mode, sport mode, and EV mode. So when it's not in trail mode, I usually like to have this in either eco or EV mode. Another cool thing is that there is a hold button which you use if you don't want to keep your foot on the brakes if you are in traffic or stopping at a red light. And also the side mirrors will light up if there is a car next to me. So if I'm trying to merge, I can just look and see if it's lit up or not. And if it's not lit up, it's safe to merge. If it is, that means there is a car next to me and I should wait. And then another cool feature is this SOS button up here, which I haven't used and hopefully don't have to use ever but it's good to have because if I'm ever in any car troubles or if I got in an accident I can just push that and it will connect me to someone who can help me. Over here I have a driving memory button so basically I have my seat all set up for me how I like it but my boyfriend Michael is 6'3 so when he drives he has his own settings so I'll show you really quick these are his settings. When I push the button, the seat will automatically go to how he likes to sit in the car, which is way different from what I like. I can't even touch the steering wheel like this. So my preset is driver one and the seat will go to how I like it when I drive. But it's a really cool function for when you're switching between drivers. So I like how much storage there is in this car. There's this ledge right here, which is really good to put your phone or little small items. There's also a little ledge over here. And then there's this compartment, which I keep a few things inside. This is just my little first aid kit with a pocket mask, some Advil, some sanitizer and tissues. In this little pouch, I have granola bars if I ever get hungry. I've got chapstick. Actually, I'm gonna use them right now. My lips are a little chapped. And I also have some sunscreen, just little things like that goes inside of here. I have this massive water bottle that never fits in a cup holder ever, but I kind of just lean it there and it stays. And then I also have a sunroof. So if I wanna open that, I just touch this button and I can get some fresh air, some sunlight on my face. It's really nice when I'm cruising down PCH and I just wanna let the sunlight in. But I'm gonna close that for now because there's a lot of dirt here. This car also has a Wi-Fi hotspot, which could be cool if I'm out in the middle of nowhere camping or on a road trip and I need to be connected. So that's kind of a cool feature. I definitely don't plan to use that often because it's not free, obviously. So there's also dual climate control as well as seat warmers. I can set it to high or low, but a feature that is actually super cool that I did not have in my old car is a steering wheel warmer. So on those cold winter days when I go for a surf session and my hands are numb, then I can just turn that feature on, drive, and it'll warm up my hands. So kind of a fun feature that you don't really need, but it's nice to have. Now I'll show you the rest of my car. Okay, so now the back of my car, on my smart key system, I have the option to hold down a button and the trunk gate will automatically lift up. This is fully adjustable. Right now it's at its highest setting, but if I just wanted it to open a certain way, I can set it to that height. But I kind of like having it all the way up there so it doesn't get in the way. 
um, a really spacious trunk area, which is nice to put all of my belongings in. I have a lot of stuff in here right now, but usually all this is not in there. And I just have this bin. So as an ocean lifeguard and someone who goes to the beach often, this bin has all of my beach essentials. It has things like wetsuits, surfboard racks, towels, body surfing fins, cap, goggles, an extra bikini, a beach bag, just all the things that I could possibly need if I was rolling up to the beach. So that's all in there and it's in this plastic bin so that if I were to get anything sandy or wet, I can keep that all in here and clean it out later and it will keep the rest of my car decently clean. The trunk also has this protector. If I wanted to keep my things kind of hidden and private, I do have that option. But if I don't need it anymore, I could just take it out. Um, like if I needed to transport anything that was super big, this whole thing comes off and those three seats can go fully down. So if I ever want to put my longboard inside the car, I totally can. Also to close this, I just push this button and it will close automatically, which is super cool. Um, so come over here. So something that I was looking for when buying a new car is a roof rack system, just because I need a car to transport my surfboards. But if I were to ever go camping and I need to attach like a Thule thing on top, I also have the option to do that. So this car is totally ready for any kind of adventure, which I love. Another thing that's cool about this car is that it connects to a Toyota app. So I can check on the status of all of the mechanics. I can make appointments to get my car serviced. So that's super high tech and I love it because my old car literally had none of these cool modern features. So I'm obsessed with my car. I think it fits my personality and my lifestyle so well. So with all of the modern bells and whistles and the fact that this is a 2021 SUV hybrid, this car actually ended up being a little bit over my budget. So the total price was around $40,000. I actually qualified for a college rebate offer. So I got $500 off for graduating within two years of buying this vehicle. And there was also another $500 cash incentive just for buying a RAV4 hybrid. So combined together, it was around $39,000. It was nice to get that price down just a little bit. And I put down more than half for the down payment. And I intend to pay off the rest of the car before my first bill comes next month. So essentially it's kind of like buying it all in cash, but going through financing so I can get that rebate offer. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to be open about that because I appreciate when people talk about how much things cost or how they bought them. I know that's a lot of money for a car, but I thought it was a good investment for me because it fits my current lifestyle really well and I wanted a car that would kind of set the tone for a new more mature grown-up version of myself where I'm actually making decent money and I want to drive a nicer car so yeah I'm really stoked on this car it was a big purchase but it's my my baby so that's my car tour right now Michael and I are actually gonna go drive down this trail to go hike the slot canyon i hope you guys enjoyed watching and i will see you all in the next video